Hiya! And welcome to SS Cooking. My name is Nibal Deng and welcome to the show. Now, thank heavens we managed to find uh, Mulakia. So, today we're going to make Kudra Mafruk. Now, I know a lot of you may be happy about this because you selected it in our questionnaire survey. So, let's not waste any more time and let's have a look at the ingredients. Okay, we've used uh, five to six bunches of Mulakia. We destemmed them and then we've cut them into small pieces. Now, if you're going to use the mafruk way, it needs to be much, much tinier than this. It needs to be very small. So keep cutting, cutting, cutting till it's a tiny piece. But uh, since we're not going to do it the mafruk way, we're going to use a blender. So you don't have to do it so small. So then we have one onion chopped into small pieces. We have four to five cloves of garlic, grounded. We'll be using six cups of water. Here we have a half a teaspoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of coriander, uh, three to four cubes of uh, stock, and then we have bicarbonate soda, it's like a quarter of a teaspoon. Then we'll be using roughly around 350 grams of chicken cubes. Uh, since we don't eat red meat in our house, uh, we're using chicken as a substitute, but traditionally it's done with uh, meat. Um, we're using a wooden spoon and then also we'll be using the blender. I think that's it. I think let's get started. First things first, we put the fire on for the... We'll be boiling the chicken and the onions together for letting them to cook. Let's pour in uh, two cups of water because chicken doesn't need a lot to cook. Then we put the onions in. Then we pour the chicken cubes in. Now I'm trying to take a health conscious approach instead of frying the, the onions with oil before pouring the chicken cubes and water in. Um, I haven't put oil as the chicken itself has a lot of oil so you don't really need to add extra oil. So now we leave that to cook. Maybe let's say 15-20 minutes and then we'll check up on it again. Okay, so while that's cooking, we're going to go on to do the mulakia. Okay, so we've put the fire on, on high heat. We're going to pour one uh, cup of water. Then we add the mulakia inside. Like so. Then, as you can see, it will need another water. So, we pour it in like so. Now, I don't want to pour too much water because we want the molokia to cook just for like 10 minutes just enough so that we can then blend it and then pour it into the shorba of the chicken stew. Mix it all in. Then now let it, if you can just wait for it to boil, then we add the other ingredients in. So now that you can see it's come to a boil, what we're going to do, we're going to add the bicarbonate soda. What that does, it, it actually softens the, the leaf and it makes it cook quicker. So, and I've opted to use a large pan because when I put the bicarbonate soda, you will see that it will start to rise and if you have a small pan, it will overflow and then it will burn the outside of the pan as it's cooking. So we add the bicarbonate soda. So as you can see, it's going to start to, to bubble up very quickly. So what we're going to do now, we're going to leave it to cook for like, let's say 10 minutes. We don't want it to cook too much because then it's going to cook with the with the uh, chicken stew, with the chicken soup, sorry. So what you do, you just cover it and let it stay for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes is up. So 
let's just switch off the fire. You can mix it so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And then we let it cool down before we put it into the blender. Okay, so it should be cooled down now. If you can, the shortbread should be done. So what we do, we just switch that one off. And then we get the blender. Like so. Then we're going to pour in the molokia. Make sure it's all in. Like so. So what we're going to do, we're just going to take the, the short bar, going to pour it in. Sorry about that. Let's pour it all in. Okay, and then now, before I uh, start the blending process, um, if you want to do it the traditional way, the mafruk, there's this long stick, it's like a cube stick and at the end it has a, a rectangle shape but with a curve to it at the top. Now um, what you do, the molokia while it's in the pan, you let it cook for like 20 to 30 minutes before then you get the mafruk, the stick I described and then you just do this movement, similar to a blending movement but less harsh you do it like that that's how you get the traditional kudra kind of feel to it it's not too blended there's still some bits in it but for us we're going to cheat today because for people that don't have time to to do it the mafruk way we use the blender very helpful tool now what we're going to do we're going to put it on pulse mode we'll pulse it three times then it should be done so what we do So we put it on pulse mode, that's one, two, and three. And it should be done like that. Okay, so we've put the fire back on. What we do, pull the kudra in. Mix it in. So you can see, you have that slimy consistency and the kudra. Don't mind those big bits, they were still on the spoon before. But if you look over here, you'll see you still have the small bits. We don't want it completely dissolved. There are some people who like it very thick, so they blend it all the way. But for me, I like it like this. So what we're going to do now, Let's add the remaining ones. We add the cumin, coriander, and also the seasoning, the stock. Then we also add the garlic, like so. And then now what we do, we leave it to cook the spices and everything we'll leave it to cook and dissolve before it will be ready so we just cover it up you put it on medium heat not high otherwise it will burn just medium heat and leave it to cook for let's say 10 minutes then it should be done okay time should be up we switch off the fire as you can see it has that nice green color for kudra and also the slime as well don't mind the white bits, this is because of the chicken. If you do it with meat, the white bits will not be there. So look at that slime. <laughs> I know it sounds bad, the slime, but that's what I look for in Kudra. I love that. So look at that. So it should be ready in time to plate up.
So there you have it, Kondor Mafuk. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please don't forget to like, to comment, and also to subscribe to see what we'll be doing on our next show. Until next time, bye-bye.